from entire games put into Minecraft to awesome and fun creations, and even a few game-changing weapons along the way. I am the Derpy Well, and in this video I will be showing off 21 features that ordinary players added into the game. Whether it was through a mod, data pack, or just commands, these things were added into Minecraft by just your everyday Minecraft player. Oh, and the last creation will just blow your mind. For our first creation, this player has added in Baby Yoda into Minecraft, and not only did he add the textures, he also added in the force. Now that's impressive. Mr. Squishy YT added in an entire game into Minecraft. You can cook fries, pizza and burgers. If you weren't hungry before, now you are. I'm sorry about that one. Everything about this project is just so well done. Even the soda machine has some really awesome animations behind it. And just the whole project is just well done across the board. Here's me thinking my 2x2 piston door is an amazing creation. You have people like this player adding in entire games. Whimsy YT has created this spell that actually summons these beautiful giant ice spikes that will impale any mob and slow them down at the same time. And I guess your enemies, if you want to show no mercy. I don't think anyone will want to challenge you after witnessing this insane spell. Imagine this on a faction server. They might as well just make you owner at that point because no one's going to mess with you. A player by the name of PNK23 has added in waves into the seas of Minecraft, also giving them a chance to leave a shell behind. Now imagine if this was actually in the game, it would be so cool. I'd find myself just staring at the ocean, but I'm a whale so I'd probably be in it actually. It's a nice subtle change that would actually add quite a lot to the game. The shells are also a nice touch. A player by the name of Squid, with the use of some clever commands, added in these matrix looking slow motion arrows. Looks like a lot of fun, especially since he made it so you can actually toggle the effect. I need to get my hands on this one, I really do hate skeletons and their aimbot. Suddenly I now stand a chance against them. Mevajuka, I've, I butchered that name, sorry about that. It's the derpy well guarantee that I at least destroy one person's name in a video. Well anyways, he has made this incredible and functional sled in Minecraft. It can even interact with dogs and be pulled by them, whilst having storage, actually insane. And kinda cool to look at. Why doesn't everyone have this mod installed? Duck YT has created his own custom potions. Potion of fire to be exact, and all you need to do is just throw it, and anything it lands on will catch on fire. Super useful for the mobs that clump together like silverfish. Rocket BBM is showing off his unique weapon and its unique ability he's creating for this secret project. And it's a uh, it's a little bit overpowered, I would say. Nuo Comdot is out here making chameleons. Well, at least sheep ones. He actually made it so when a sheep walks over any block the sheep will then take on the colour of that block. And if the block doesn't have any colour, say for example glass, it goes invisible. Can't say I've ever seen a sheep chameleon before. 4P5CMC, that's an interesting name, has brought a bit of realism into the game by creating this unique way of obtaining coal. You place a load of logs down in a pile and then cover it with dirt. You then light the logs and over time you end up with coal. Basically how you do it in real life. This is obviously a pretty cool concept, especially if you're playing on a survival world. A little bit of realism goes a long way, and there's entire mod packs dedicated to realism. Alelgian made a data pack that actually lets you place your banner patterns on beds, making for a more unique and customizable bed. And my favourite is the dog. Shout out to anyone who's seen this on my Daily Dose of Minecraft series. Megma Sega, interesting name, is showing off a TARDIS build he's working on that uses a lot, and I mean a lot, of map art. I loved Doctor Who when I was a kid, so seeing this kind of thing brings back good memories. And it's for sure just an amazing project. I mean, the amount of hours that must have gone into this is insane.
it's the sheepster is showing us this function dice he actually created. It even makes use of particles and keeps count of how many rolls you've done. And I find it kind of satisfying the way it just rolls like that too. From throwable dice to throwable bombs, it's a natural progression. Evo did create these throwable bombs that can actually be used to break down walls and kill mobs. And again, it's also kind of satisfying with how you can just toss it like that. Seems like a pretty easy way to throw your friends pretty hard on this one. And if you're this far into the video and you haven't left a like or subscribed, I might have to throw a couple your way. Dennis TMS has made something we've all been wanting, and that's Muddy Pigs. You're welcome. This isn't really a feature or a creation, but it is for sure some impressive command work. And I just wanted to show it off to be honest. K9 Kravik recreated the Bedwars fireball and he took it a little too far. Significant ear is asking the hard hitting questions. Do you like cake? I hope so because he created this elaborate cake making machine using a metric ton of command blocks. I don't even want to know how long this took to create, but the end result is definitely worth it. Grimgar has created this 3D scanner. It turns anything you build into this 3D hologram. The potential on this one is just huge. Furia creates things out here doing God's work and has created this vanilla friendly way to undo all of those annoying accidental strip logs you keep doing. Why haven't Mojang added this yet? It's so subtle and a pretty cool idea. Jinji made realistic digging in Minecraft. The man ate one added in the Wheel of Fortune wheel. Insane Orbits created this bow that actually beat to Minecraft for you. Bow break, here we go. All right, just trust the process. It takes a little bit of time because you know it's, it's a very powerful weapon. You took so long to start. Don't know why it took so long, but it's happening. Here we go. Blaze rod, love that. Okay, all right. Why is there just a blaze rod there? Why is there just why is there a floating blaze rod? Okay, whatever. I guess. That was, oh no, it gave me the end rise. There we go. All right. Oh my days. Oh no. Process. Oh, it it, it works perfectly. It works perfectly. One shot and bang. Okay, so I hyped up the last clip in the intro, something I actually never do, but I thought this one in particular deserved it. What you're seeing right now is in Minecraft. It's not a different game or its own engine like I previously thought. This is actually Minecraft. I spoke to I'm Nozuri, the person who created this little nightmares type game, and even with him explaining to me how it works, I couldn't believe it. I've never seen anything like it before, and I think I've featured it like three times on my Daily Dose on Minecraft series now. That's just how much I like this project. But yeah, this is in Minecraft. It uses commands, texture packs, and just anything considered vanilla. Wow, you made it this far into the video, so you must have enjoyed it, right? Please make sure you've left a like, comment, and have subscribed to my channel with notifications on to never miss out on a video.
I have two more videos on screen I think you enjoy, and as always, thank you for watching.